Oh, hello there. Welcome back. What's up? How's, how are you all doing today? We are going to pop straight into a pub and have a bit of a chat while playing some video games. Doesn't that sound like, sound like some jovial, some good old, good old jovial fun right there? Isn't that true, my, my doggo friend? Yeah. Yeah, sounds alright. Hello there. Welcome back. How are you all doing today? So it's been... Yeah, like three weeks, but you know, in the world of uh, the fast, fast-paced dog eat dog world of YouTube, three weeks is like you might you might as well have been dead for the last forty-six years, right? Like, oh, woolen, you hate us now, father. I require loops. Why is this like Evangelion Cross? It's like, like, father, where have you been? Why have you not? Why have you not been making video game commentaries on YouTube.com? All right, that's what you do, right? No, you see. That's what I do sometimes. You see, I have had, like every year, other things to do. And this year it's been my degree. Or continuing to do my degree. So yeah, I've got... Oh god, hello there. I've got about, I don't know, 12 weeks left of my entire education left. Final year of uni and all that bollocks. And, like every year, I basically take time off from all of my hobbies. Mostly, mostly YouTube, really. And do that, because I think it's a smart idea to focus on getting your degree, rather than make 30p off a YouTube commentary, basically is what I'm saying, is I had other things to do that were high priority. But I am done now, for yesterday. I had my final exam, and I have many short and slightly boring stories that are unrelated to the commentary to tell. And there you go, that's why you're excited, you're like, oh, Woolen, we missed you and your slightly boring and irrelevant commentary conversations. Where have you been our whole lives? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a jump cut, and then I'm going to be alive again. Wow, what a jump cut that was. Almost no time in between the last two deaths and lives. I'm sure there are eight scouts in our spawn. I, I can't survive this. I They're cr crit. Okay, there's going to be a second jump cut to when there's not three crit scouts outside our spawn. What you do now is that you click on the soldier class, and you shoot the floor like three times. It just it doesn't matter where the rockets go, just as long as you're like outputting them somewhere, just... See? Exactly. This is what, exactly what I say. Just shoot a rocket somewhere and you'll die, and now you can play Red Bull. Spike. I thought that was Red Bull and my brain, like, crossed the wires there. So yeah. Hello. I haven't played much video game for the last, like, month or two, so forgive me if I'm absolute shit. Oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to waste shit. Say shit, I'm out of my... Oh god, and there goes my 30p of ad revenue. Damn. Um, any of that bollocks, you know? I forgot what I was complaining about. What is that? Like, air siren noise. Is that... Okay, I've played Enclosure, like, once. I didn't realise it made, like, a truck-reversing sound effect. We've met a spy. He's our friend. Do you want to have a high-five? Do you want to be- That's not the high-five button. That's right. I- What? I just wanted to have a high-five with him. Wait, which is my high-five button? Do I not have one? Okay, I guess I'll just taunt here instead. Like, hello, my friend. That's right. Medics famously don't have a peripheral vision. Also, our entire team has left because their entire team was scouts. And I am indeed holding up tab just to see if someone spawns. I don't think it's gonna- I don't think anything matters in life, to be honest. I was gonna be like, oh look, we can go save the day. Look, there's some like people over there, we'll just left click and die, but... That's alright, we'll just do this taunt and now people- Hello? I pressed the wrong button a few times and I looked at the wrong- Oh, it's a dinosaur! There you go, this is as expected, and the map's over. Alright, so thanks for- <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll find a- we'll find a new map, I guess. That was fast. I was- uh, I had so many non-conversation rants to go on, and for like a minute there I basically said a total of nothing. So, you know, usual sort of commentary. I'm also going to re-lobby, because I hate myself, but not enough to play Frontier. So we'll just move on to somewhere else. Alright. This is a map. This is Moss Rock. Weetabix is on the other team. That's cool. Weetabix sometimes subs to me on Twitch, that's why I know him. And that's the only reason I know him, and nothing else. Anyway, hi, hello there. Do you want to have like a commentary now where I say words in front of the gameplay? The first word I'm going to say again is I apologise, but I haven't played many video games. Because I have been revising, and doing coursework, and exams, and I want to be a good boy who's like, heck, look at my, look at my C++ programming ability, and then the bloody job interview will be like, holy shit. Okay, that's some pretty good C++ing. But where's the TF2 commentary? So you see where I'm getting at with this is... Put your... Put your real life ahead of video games. Anyway, look. I'm gonna click on you, and then not do anything. And look, that was, that was a, little, a little ruse. I can't like the old woolly ruse. Because then what he... Like, he's confused. He's like a Pikmin. He has no idea what to do. Then you do the old, the old wibbly woo, hoo hoo, and we do the health pack. Look, we got every element of a woolen commentary in here. Stuff kind of related to the commentary, but done in broken English that no one can understand. A weird, like, spy one-off trick stab that he says. That was an epic trick stab like that. Epic trick stab. There you go. And, like, a bunch of words that make no sense. 
and have no reason to exist. And then we die to a dummy man shooting a pipe from across the map into us while we're invisible. Okay. Wow, I love the power of editing. Now I don't have to experience the respawn to- oh, I do. Anyway, yeah, so, back onto the original conversation. I'm doing my degree in computer science. That means programming, and also sometimes not programming, which is the fun bit, where it's like, I love programming. And then you do a bunch of modules that are like, okay, you like programming, right? How about a module on reading books? How about that? You love books, right? You love books. No? You want to you want to do programming? That's not it's not it's not reading scholarly reports and no. Okay. Well, you're going to do that anyway. So you're like first is going to get pulled down to a 2-1 because half of your modules aren't on programming. It's like, "Oh, Willen, being a programmer isn't just about writing code. It's about working in a team." Stop with your logic, all right? I want to complain, alright? I only have one skill in life. Don't shoot the floor with your rocket, he did it. Why did he wait for us to show up before shooting us? It's almost like we were invisible and he only saw us when we popped back into visibility. But anyway, yeah. I have one reasonably usable skill in life and it's... looking at pyros falling off cliffs. No, it's programming. So whenever I have to do something that's not programming, I'm like, uh... So yeah. Anyway, all that's over now. You, uh, you know, you want help with your Unreal Engine C++ work? Come and help Woolen. Come come and yell at Woolen and be like, Woolen, why is my actor not working? It's like, that's not an actor, that's a character, which, you know, pulls from the actor class, so so it should work. But anyway, look, these are things that none of you, um, four of you will understand, perhaps. Actually, that's, that's a curious question. How many of you program chat? How many- chat? <laughs> Comments chat. Oh, crits, that's lovely. How many of you do programming at any level? You could be at school, you could be doing Game Maker, like Woolen in 2007, making his Zelda engines in Game Maker, and going, why did why did game yo-yo games take down the sandbox? Now everyone can't see my Minish Cap engine I made. Everyone loved the Minish Cap engine. It had, it had actually tons of downloads. I was really proud of that. Those of you that didn't know, this YouTube channel was originally made to upload my like Game Maker projects to. They're all hidden. I mean, I posted, I posted the videos, they're unlisted, I posted the videos on my, my Discord sometimes, but they're not, like, public or anything, but yeah. I used to do a bunch of programming when I was younger, because I used to have, like, no internet connection, because I lived in the middle of nowhere, and nothing to do. And the only computer I had real access to was my mum's laptop from uni, who at the time was probably, like, in her 40s, so it was maybe, like, a 10, 20-year-old laptop. Not very good. I'm sure some of you will be aware that old laptops are not very good. Uh, so yeah, the only thing that would run on this laptop was a uh, Game Maker. I tried running Blender originally because I was like, Blender, that's like 3D, right? Did not understand a thing. I was like 9, 8. But yeah, um, Game Maker was like the only thing that ran on it. So I was like, hey, I can't play games. I might as well make them. That's like, you know, that's probably what most kids think, right? No? No? Well, that's what I thought anyway. So I got really into that. And that's all I did for like five or six years, was just sit and make Zelda engines in Game Maker. And I was really into it. And I've still got the videos on this channel unlisted from like some of the better ones. Epic trick stab. There you go. Wooly, wooly, hoo, hoo. And you know, there you go. Gotta bring the commentary back somehow. But yeah. Uh, you know, I ended up still doing that my whole life. I went to uni specifically to do, uh, not game development, to do programming in general. I don't want to be a game developer. Have you, have you, has any of you ever looked into the industry? It's awful. Like, they only got a union in the UK this year, like a few weeks ago. Up until now, there was no union for Game Maker for game maker, for game development workers, which is very bad. And also, it's harder than every other programming job because you get paid about half as much, sometimes like way less than that, and there's like no job security, and you have to work in a huge team, and there's huge debt. It's bad, all right? Unless you really like it. If you really like it, that's most people in the game development industry really like game development, hence why they're willing to do it for like basically minimum wage, where a programming degree, hopefully, should get you above minimum wage. Yeah, so it's a bit weird. So I never really want to be a game programmer. Maybe until it's like 40 years down the line and I've got money saved up or whatever. But as a hobby, it's awesome. It's one of my favourite things. Um, like even my dissertation, which I'm going to work on now, my final year project if you're at uni. Most, I don't know about this, but most, most degrees you tend to write an enormous essay. About 10,000 words usually. Um, mine is a 10,000 word essay is the small bit, so it's just a tiny bit. And I'm also writing an enormous programming project, that's like what it's, that's what it's called basically. So if you do computer science, any of you that are looking to do it at uni, uh, you be, be warned that in your final year you'll be doing a huge project, which is fun. My project's going to be fun. It's going to be... hmm. How much of detail can I go into? I don't know how much detail I can go into. It's not like any of you are going to steal it. Um, not that it really matters, either. There's, there's... 
they like don't care about originality. But yeah, I'm essentially doing a. Uh, I'm going to be making a game in Unreal Engine in C++, a very simple little game, and then the other half of it. That's just going to be a small bit of it, which is already should be a big bit. I've killed myself, haven't I? Um, and then I'm going to be writing a uh, another program, either still in C++ or in something else to in relation to procedural generation, and then my, like, report's all about that and procedural generation. What am I doing? I should die, right? Is there any way out of here? Like, if I, like, can I, like, clip up the wall? I, there must be a way out of here. Maybe, you know what? We'll do the old hoo-hoo strat, which is hope someone shoots us while I'm, like, invisible like this. And then I, like, rocket- HOLY SHIT! <laughs> oh, the bloody spy! Man, that would have been so cool if that Gibbous spy wasn't there. Like, that was my actual strat and it worked. So what I did there was I pressed Q to undisguise, which is my undisguise bound, if you didn't know, as the soldier shot me with a rocket to make myself rocket jump to get out of the hole. And it would have worked if it wasn't for those meddling kids. I'm assuming he is because he's playing spy. Haha, <laughs> he self-deprecation. But anyway, more, more onwards. Now that I'm done with my second to last semester, my next one starts in like late January, and then there's like 12 weeks from that and then I graduate. I'm all, all I'm going to be doing is literally working on my uh, dissertation, working on the game, working on the big, working on the big report, working on the program to go alongside it. There's a lot of stuff going on. I've decided to make a vaguely complicated uh, thing for my dissertation, my project. So there's a lot of work to do, but I chose it specifically so I'd be happy to do that. The Chaos Seventy Six. That is like the most 2006 YouTube name I've ever seen. And he's using the diamond bag. And he died to a scout. Well, that's like Team Fortress. Anyway, look. I forgot what I was talking about, but yeah, degree, lot of work. Lot of work, 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 work. Um, and if I were you, chat, YouTube comment chat, I would recommend this as well. You know, if you're playing competitive TF2 and your exams are coming up, perhaps perhaps not play the game for like four hours every day. Perhaps, perhaps it's better to take like a couple, like a month off and uh, try to get good grades. That's what I'd recommend. As your like father, as you're like, I'm like your... Like your uncle, like weird Uncle Woolen, you know, like your, your mum's a bit annoyed whenever he comes over, but he always tries to get the, you know, he tries to get everyone in on the Guinness. Go on, KS76, you can do it. That's right, people are blind. Anyway, for the 50th time, why are we doing, we're doing like, okay, that's really weird. I have, again, I've not played, like my hours in TF2 over the last month are like two. Uh, I tend to stream every Monday for three hours, but a few weeks ago I tried to play the CSGO Battle Royale. Yes, it was, it was, it was okay. <laughs> I'm probably never going to play it again. But it was clear that it had a ton of work put into it, and I'm sure that people who enjoy it will enjoy it, and I'm sure it'll have like an active development cycle and all that, but like, I could- I just didn't- I just don't- I'm so over Battle Royale. I played a ton of PUBG when it first came to Steam, like a year and a half ago, two years, whatever. Back before it was particularly popular- back before it was popular at all, like it was a £30 game with no sales. The only reason I download or bought it was because Northern Lion- because uh, Northern Lion made videos on it. But yeah, like, I, pl I played a ton of PUBG. Because it was, you know, this was before everyone hated PUBG. It was a new game. It had, like, a couple, couple hundred thousand players, maybe, if that. So it was, you know, getting popular. But um, it was fun because it had, like, updates pretty much every week. And the devs listened to the players. And they said things like, We're never going to put microtransactions in the game. We're just going to keep it at £30. That's how we're going to make our money. We refuse to make it pay to win and add weird things to the game, like skins. Um, and then, obviously, they made... Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, obviously, they made, like... I don't know, like 10 million copies sold or something, so they went from a small, like, South Korean company headed by some American bloke, I think? Maybe Canadian? I don't remember where he's from, the player unknown bloke. But anyway, yeah, it was a tiny company and they accidentally made an enormously popular game, kinda, and then they didn't really know how to handle it and obviously did it very poorly. I think. I think people don't really like PUBG anymore. It's obviously still has a ton of players, but I think most of the players are in the East Asian market, like a lot of Chinese players and stuff. Not really alive over here, at least in Europe and I think America. But anyway, yeah, I, I played a ton of that. Really liked it. Played it at like 2am on stream with like my friend to like th like 20 people. It was really fun. Like a nice little... Like w Uncle Woolen and his nieces and nephews. I think and there might be a TF2 person who's already owns the nieces and nephews thing, but I'll just steal it. It's okay. Uh... It was fun, like a little, little bit of chat with like the same small group of people. Fun, a bit of a fun game all evening. Bit of, bit of a piss around. But I got really sick of it really quickly. Um, and now it's like a really popular genre. I think, I don't know if Battle Royale's going out. I guess the, the popular free-to-play Battle Royale is still popular. I don't know what's going to replace it. It's probably some free-to-play like mobile game, right? But yeah, so like this, you know, CSGO update comes out. 
I already haven't played CSGO much in the last, like, four years. I played it a bit around, like, the Bloodhound missions when they added DE Zoo. You guys remember Zoo? Zoo? You CSGO players remember Zoo? Maybe? Maybe not? I played it around there. I got to, like, the third top rank or something. Not not because I was good, but because my friends were good. And the way that rank works in CSGO is if your friends are good, you get a good rank. So even though I basically did nothing ever in CSGO, I had a really good rank because my friends were good. Thank you, Menti. But anyway, yeah, I used to play a bunch of that and then I got bored of it because, I don't know, CSGO wasn't really for me. It was alright, but it was like too much work to like do another shooter at the same time as Team Fortress. What's going on here? Anyway, yeah, like the Battle Royale came up, update came out, I was like, oh, I might as well play it. I already own the game. It's not like the fact that it's free matters at all. How do I shoot this gun again? Like that? Kind of like that, I guess. But yeah, so I played it, and I was like, it's alright. <laughs> it's not that fun, but it's, it's okay. I, I've just given up. I just don't care about it. I think I'm I'm going out of shooters as well. I kind of like, um... Oh, guys, the video over already? Alright, well, well, we'll just wrap it up here. I don't know what I was talking about this whole video. Make sure to brush your teeth, and revise for your exams by doing past papers, and drink water, and check the traffic reports before you leave for your exam, because you might on all your exams be ending up with 40 minutes of traffic handing up at the exam five minutes before. Not that I'm speaking with experience, but I am. Anyway, cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. And I will see you all next time, whenever it is. I don't know. Tomorrow? Next week? Three months from now? Who knows? But I will see you then. Thank you for watching. And also, my second channel. Go, go subscribe to that if you want the Let's Plays and stuff, because they're not on here anymore. But yeah, bye, bye bye, goodbye, good night, good morning, whatever. <laughs>